Okay, great morning, people of America. I'm sorry it's so dark. Let's see, it's even brighter over here. Okay, okay well, hello, people of America and any other places, states, countries, counties. Hello. So I'm back with you all today. And today we have. We're going to be talking about some paranormal stuff that has been happening um, around this Halloween time in my house. So, I have one of my first stories, and I hope so. But I have one of my first stories, and it's two stories. I'm sorry if the video is so long, but I'm going to think it's going to be long. But, so, it's been some paranormal stuff happening. And I'm gonna tell you what. <laughs> well, quick question: Has anyone heard of this story? Comment. Oh, gosh. One story is the story of Carmen Winston. So one day, it was a girl named Carmen, and her dad got okay. a job in Indiana. So her, her mom, and her dad had to move to Indiana. And it was hard for Carmen to make friends. She was pretty much alone. So, one day, she met these five girls. And they were like, want to be friends? And she was friends with these five girls. So, one day, she found out that the five girls that were, per se, her friends, they were talking about her behind her back. So then the next day, she confronted the girls. And they turned on twisted brains turned. So one day, it was a fire and Carmen was standing in front of an open sewer, or some people call it a madhouse. A sewer. So, these five girls wanted to embarrass Carmen. So they pushed her into the sewer and wanted to embarrass her. So then when everyone else made it out of the building, even though it wasn't a real fire drill, but, or real fire, but when everyone else was out of the building, the f these five girls had embarrassed Carmen. So when they pushed her in the sewer, they didn't mean for this to happen. But, you know. I'm just going to skip this part, but I'll be back to it. So these five girls, they were still in the building, just staring at her. They were just standing over the sewer. So then when the teachers that these five girls were in, when they called these five girls' names, they did not hear anything. So when they ran out of the building, leaving Carmen in the sewer, when they ran out of the building, where their teachers and their class was, when they got to Carmen's name, they called her name. So then, when they called Carmen's name, the five girls started laughing, and they said, Carmen's in the sewers. So, you know, everybody else just joined and started laughing. So then... These five girls and everyone else was just laughing their heads off, watching and knowing that Carmen was dead in the sewers. They thought that she was still alive, 
But when they went back to the sewer to look at her, she had broke her neck, her head was twisted around, and her face was completely scraped off when she hit her, when she hit the ladder. So, you know, from what I think, these five girls and their twisted little brains, you know, the twisted little brains, are crazy. Why would they push a loner? She's sweet. She did nothing to them. She was pretty much just a loner. She would walk to school by herself, eat lunch by herself. She'd pretty much do everything by herself. But these five girls just had to come and bother. So, the story goes on saying that these five girls have been haunted. Haunted. saying that they have heard of these five girls it's already been six minutes but okay. that Carmen has been killing these five girls oh. stop yeah Sorry. Oh. one by one and the first one was that one of the five girls was taking a shower one day and they heard very eerie laughing coming from the drains, the toilets, and the sink. And that same night, after saying goodnight to one of the five girls, after died. <clears throat> Ruminous. The five girls died. But after the girl had said goodnight to her mom, that same night she heard the airy laughing coming from her drains, she went missing. <laughs> and as all of you should know, should know. Carmen killed her. The Carmen killed her. And her mom woke up to hear a very, very loud bang in the middle of the night. And when she went to go see what that was, to go see what that was, she found that her daughter was gone. That's one story. Um, I don't know the rest of them. Just I don't. Yeah, wait. This takes so long to get back to brown. That's something. Get back, Jay. What I want to tell you guys is. One of my favorite YouTubers, Britty Britty44. So you all need to go to her website, subscribe, like her videos, and go check them out. And another person I deal is Crazy Russian Hacker Britty44. And. The man that always says, "Do you want to know how to prank?" I don't, I don't know necessarily. <laughs> oh yeah, and have you guys heard? It's clowns walking around. You little creep clowns, you're sad. You little creep clowns are sad out here chasing, molesting kids. Something seriously wrong with you, trusted minded. If you agree, like this video and subscribe. That's all I can say. Peace, America. Peace.